Merry Christmas Eve! It's Christmas Eve! Yes! And we are pretty much organised, thank God. Um, but today, instead of doing a vlog, I thought I would show you our Christmas Eve box, which I finally finished packing last night. So, the box <coughs> was actually sent to us by Sue Ryder. Uh, the Sue Ryder shop sent it, and it is so cute. So, looks like this. So it says, special delivery from the North Pole on the side, and then on the top, it says, open me on Christmas Eve, and it's got like a little airmail stamp, saying North Pole airmail. <laughs> so it's a proper big sturdy grey. There's a fair size to it. As you can see, it's pretty massive, which is great because we're going to use it as like a family thing. It won't just be for Ellie and it'll be for all of us. So I'm going to show you what I've put in it. Obviously, he's he's only six months, so he's still little at the moment. Um, so activity books aren't really a thing, and he's not really that keen on like sitting down and watching a film. Although we will be watching a film tonight as a family. So he has his penguin onesie to sleep in tonight. It's a new one, he hasn't worn it yet. Then John, <laughs> I bought John the Grinch pajama bottoms. So, <laughs> there's the pattern on them. <laughs> Cause he hates the build up to Christmas. John hates the build up to Christmas. Um, can't stand the fest, so <laughs> I bought him the Grinch. Aside from finding bar humbug, I thought they were the most fit in. Then for myself, I got this. It says, dreams are made of this. And it's like a little Bambi print. So top and bottoms of those. Bottoms. Um, this is from Tesco's. The um, Grinch trousers were £14, and I think, I've taken the tags off mine, I think it was 16 for the set, so it's not too bad. And then for me and John when we're watching um, a film, it'll be me and John and my parents, um, my sister and her partner as well, because we all stay at my parents on Christmas Eve. I bought some um, special chocolates from Lidl's. So these are corks with praline filling and popping candy. Just there. And these are chocolate bells with pistachio filling. Yeah. And finest marzipan. Okay, sorry about that. We both uh, shifted a bit in frame. My camera decided to tell me that the memory card was full because I keep forgetting to delete everything on it. So, the chocolates. Then on to the fun stuff. So, I had a magic key made. It's really pretty. Uh, hopefully it'll focus on it. Maybe, possibly. Or not. <laughs> Okay, so it's a Perspex key, and it's got like um, like a white snowflake print on it. And then on the tag, there's a little message to Santa. It says, Dear Santa, we have no chimney as you can see, but do not worry, you can use this magic key. Love, the Cross Jones family. I thought I'm not going to get it off Elian, because when we do, if we do have another one, um, I don't have to buy a key again. So the magic key for him to give Santa because we don't have a chimney. This was from a shop called, oh, that was the plate. Um, let me see if I can find the name of the shop. It was something like Cufflinks, Best Cufflinks on Etsy. It was like a really random shop name um, that I managed to get this from. 
and that's my phone going off okay that was uh, John ringing just to say that he will be on his way back from his mum's in about 20 minutes he's got up to see his mum today with Ellie and so they can have their Christmas presents swap in um, and then straight after this we are off up to John's dad and his stepmums um, to have dinner with all that side of the family um, because we won't do it tomorrow uh, yeah so this key is from a company called Cufflinks Galore um, and they do perspex stuff it's on Etsy I'll put the link in the box below I also had <coughs> really cute baby's first Christmas baubles on with them as well so you can't see it great um, but it's per specs as well and it says Ellian's first Christmas 2016 right so I like the idea of getting personalized ornaments every year usually I'll put them in the box but John wanted to put it on the tree because it was his first one obviously he can't do it himself and then the other item that I bought for him is a Santa plate. So this one came from the Crafty Blue Kiwi. So it says treats for Father Christmas and Rudolph. And then it says love from Ellie on the bottom. And it says carrot for Rudolph, treat for Father Christmas, drink for Father Christmas. It's really cute. I spent ages and ages <laughs> looking at plates to find a design I really liked. And I love this one because it has the little tiny snowflakes on it. I thought that was really cute. Then, as he's not really going to watch a film, I have a pile of books. So first I have Baby's very first Touchy Feely Christmas book. So it's a sensory book and different things have got different like fabrics on it so I thought you'd like that and then along the same line I've got That's Not My Elf from the Usborne Touchy Feely books and again it's the same that um, different bits of it ooh, different bits of it have got different fabrics on it or different textures and then the works had a 10 for £10 sale on like the kids books the ones like this and they're really, really great. Some of them have got amazing illustrations in them. I was really impressed. So I had them. So I had four Christmas books for his box. So this is The Night Before Christmas. This one is by Moore Mancaster. So that's got like quite cute pictures in it. And it's the traditional Night Before Christmas story. Then I got The Story of Christmas which is a nativity story and that's by Dawn Matchell and Hayley Down and it's like really brightly coloured pictures so I'm going to read him these throughout the rest of the day today and then we got The Sheep That Saved Christmas and this one's by Jason Page and Adrian Reynolds let just move these out, wait a sec <sighs> yeah and this one looks like this. So I'm kind of hoping these are something we can keep now and we can use again like next year. And then What's a Christmas? And this one's by oh, Hayley Down and Claire Fennell. I think that one looked cute. It's about penguins. So those are his books. Then I did really want to find a Christmas cuddly toy, like um, My First Christmas, but I didn't like any of the ones I found. I'm not a fan of baby blue anything, and all the ones I found were all like baby blue teddies and stuff. I did find a reindeer, but then it was like £26, <laughs> just because it had embroidered on the feet, baby's first Christmas. I was like, no, not happening. But I've been putting together sensory boxes um, for uh, a lot of the mums at playgroup we found that a lot of the sensory items you can only buy in packs or the only way to get them at a decent cost was to buy them in packs and um, so i've done these sensory boxes i ended up making about 16 of them in total 
and then everybody paid me just cost price on them so I didn't make any money or anything. So this is Alien's one and I thought I'm going to put this in the box and he gets to play with this now this afternoon whilst we're all busy doing other stuff. <laughs> so first of all it's a grown tube. So I just picked these up in Poundland. Um, this happens to be a Captain America one but I mean he's not going to know that. He's just going to lay with it. It's not going to be a pound. Then I got these like cheerleading pom poms because as well as making a nice noise they're quite nice to like run over their arms and their legs for a sensory thing oh I hope he's just heard that I'm wondering what the heck it is these are from a pound shop as well one of the bigger items then were these glitter ones let me see if I can get that um, they're from Amazon I'll put the link in the box below again. So it's just a big tube with glitter in it. There you go. Glitter and little bits of like sequin and everything. But the kids are like totally transfixed on them. We've got them in playgroup. Um, that's, that's what sparked the whole thing was these. I went searching for these because Elian absolutely loves it at Playgroup and just like stares at it for ages. Um, and these were the most difficult thing to find because they're quite expensive considering they're just plastic tubes. And he's got a little maraca. Um, it's just like this little spiky ball. <clears throat> a little pot of bubbles. And then a clicky clacky worm. It's one of those like jointed ones, so all the joints move different ways. Then in everybody else's box, there's also uh, like a color changing cube light, a spiky ball that changes color, and um, aqua beads. Um, I've already got, he's already had the ball and the light before now, and the aqua beads are actually sitting in the sink at the moment, puffing themselves up. But lastly, again, one of the other items that spark the whole thing first aid foil blankets. Kid, babies and toddlers absolutely love these things. Elian um, will play with it for ages. You might have actually seen it in more than one of my vlogs this month um, because we use them at Playgroup and he is always attracted to it, always wants to have it and just, 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 <laughs> just does that a lot. Flaps his arms about holding it and it makes all that crinkly noise. So he absolutely loves it. So that's what he's got as his toy activity kind of thing. I saved it all for him, apart from the, the ball and the light. Um, I saved it, all this for him so he could have it Christmas Eve as his little, his little gift. So that's everything. Yep, just to check, that is everything that's in there. That's our Christmas Eve box. Like I said, the box was donated to us from the Sue Rider shop. Uh, thank you very much to them. It's awesome. And I so look forward now to be able to put it in the attic with the key and the plate in, probably the books as well actually, and keep it there and bring it out every year and put new stuff in it. It's going to be a really nice new tradition for us. We don't really have any like proper traditions in my family or his to be honest other than the secret Santa. Um, so yeah, it's really really nice. As a totally separate point, I am awarding a best Christmas card ever award to a friend. This is a Christmas card. How immense is this? This was dropped off by my friend on her way to a meeting. I was still in bed with the baby because we'd had a particularly awkward night and she dropped it off. <laughs> it's the most amazing card ever. So it comes in this little perspex box and it makes it look like there's a little dog in the snow. Um, and then look, look, look at him. Look at him. It's a little dog with an oddy head. He's even got a tail. And it says Happy Christmas on it. I have no idea where she got it. Not a clue but it is the best Christmas card I have ever seen. It's amazing. So this is actually to Alien rather than to us, but um, I think it's amazing. 
and there is every possibility that I'm actually going to put this out in his room because I don't know what to do with it. Christmas cards, I either get either get thrown or I scrapbook a few, I use bits of them or they get turned into Christmas tags um, or recycled. But I don't want to do that to this. This is amazing. Yeah, so I have no idea where she got it. If anybody knows company, brand, where it's from, let me know because seriously, it's awesome. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put this on his, uh, on his chest of drawers and he can keep it for a while because it's amazing. Yeah, so best Christmas card award goes to Rachel. Amazing card, Rach, well done. Well impressed. I thought my cards were cute. <laughs> Let's see my cards, my Christmas cards. Look at his face. Those are my Christmas cards, everybody. My little dude, dressed as an elf. Adorable. I thought mine were cute, but clearly she beats me because it's awesome. Right, that's it, that is me done. So I will be on my way out the door in about oh, 10 minutes by the looks of it. Um, and I will see you all again. Maybe tom- I don't think I'll see you tomorrow if I'm honest. There's, there's very little possibility that I'm gonna edit a vlog for tomorrow morning. I don't think so. Other than this, which is going out this afternoon, I don't think I'll edit a vlog for tomorrow. It's not gonna happen. But I will film lots of clips over the festive time and I will do a Two Hearts Christmas special um, after Christmas. So have an amazing Christmas everyone. Thank you for following us and watching our vlogmas. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. I don't usually vlog, I don't usually film, I usually purely blog. I'm a writer at heart. Um, so this has been a totally new experience but we are loving it and we will keep doing it I think. Maybe not daily because it's way too hectic in life to try and do it daily um, but we will be doing more vlogs and more YouTube videos so Merry Christmas give us lots of love lots of thumbs up go check out some of our other videos if you want to see what we've been up to hit subscribe and hopefully you will see lots of us in the new year all our links are in the box below we love you lots bye